Solution to Edexcel GCSE Summer 2022 and it's their overlapping circles question. The question says, these three circles each have a radius of 4 centimeters. find the shaded area in terms of pi. So if we have a look at this, at first glance it looks very, very difficult. You've got uh, three circles, they each have a radius of 4, and you've got to find these shaded areas. So this, this area here and also this area at the bottom. If you look, however, because their radius is 4, and they're each going to have a radius of 4, this bit here, and this bit here, so you've got 1, 2, 3, 4 wee bits here, they're all going to be equal, and because they're 4, the length of these bits is going to be 2 centimetres, because from here to here is going to be the radius, sorry, from here to here is going to be the radius, and then if you divide that by 2, that's going to give you uh, the, uh, the 2. So you've got those four bits. Uh, if you can find the area of one of those bits, the shaded areas would be equal to the area of a whole circle. So where I'm getting that from, you've got a whole circle minus one, two, three, four of those things. And what those things are, they are segments. So I'll just get rid of that again. So your area of your shaded area is gonna be one whole circle minus four segments. So that's what we have to work out. So the circle, the area of the circle is gonna be easy. It's gonna be pi r squared, and we know what r is. The four segments is what's gonna be difficult. Okay, I'm gonna look at just one of these. Uh, so I'm gonna look at one of these circles here. So if I just draw it a dodgy looking circle here, and we'll work out the, se uh, the segment. So there we have it. We know it doesn't look like it on this diagram, but we know that is two centimeters. If that's two centimeters, then this bit also must be two centimeters. And we know the radius is four centimeters. So I'm going to draw a right angle triangle. If that's my whole, that whole angle here is theta. I'll draw a different right angle triangle. That was two centimeters. That was four centimeters. And that's going to be theta over two. So uh, that's my adjacent, that's my hypotenuse, we're going to use cos, uh, sorry, uh, cos CAH, uh, C so cos, is, cos theta is equal to CAH is adjacent over hypotenuse, which means cos, our angle is actually theta over 2, is equal to 2 over 4, so cos theta over 2 is equal to a half, you should know that cos is equal to a half, when the angle is equal to 60 degrees. And then that means theta itself is 120 degrees. So we've got, now we've got theta is 120 degrees. So uh, what we can do with that is then uh, work out the area of your sector. So your area of your sector is going to be, sorry, your area of your segment, I should say, one segment is equal to theta over 360 times pi r squared. That's the area of the, the whole sector minus the area of the triangle, which is a half r squared sine, uh, sine theta. So if we put in all the values that we know, our theta is equal to 120 over 360 times pi times our radius, which is 4 squared times a half, times your radius, which is four squared, times sine of 120. And then we can go on from here and work that out, tally that up, that's gonna be 16 pi over three. And then <coughs> over here, a half times four squared is a half times 16, which is gonna be eight. And sine of 120 is the same as sine of 60, and sine of 60 is root three, over two, and then we'll go on from here. That tidy that up a wee bit. That's sixteen pi uh, over three minus, and that's going to be four root three, and then the whole thing going back to this formula. The shaded area is one whole circle. So the shaded area is one whole circle, which is going to be pi times r squared, so pi times four squared, 
minus what I've just worked out, 16 pi over three minus four root three, which is gonna be 16 pi, oops, there were four of those, uh, weren't there? There were indeed, minus four lots of those, so that's gonna be minus 64 pi over three, and then plus 16 root three. And then if you tidy that all up, which is not easy to do, you've got 16 root three, and then what have you got then? That's 16 pi minus 64, uh, 16 pi minus 64 pi over three. I'm gonna make take a common denominator of um, three here. So that's gonna be then 48 pi over three minus 64 pi over three, which is gonna be 16 root three. And 48 minus 64, well, what's 64 minus 48? It's gonna be, it's gonna be 16. Uh, so that's going to be minus 16 pi over 3. And I I think that is the right answer, and that's the exact, uh, the exact answer.